Can I hold it? Yeah. Okay. Hold it like a baby. <laughs> um, I bought these inventory, uh, Evolve inventory intakes for my M5 about six months ago, but we never actually filmed an install video. Up until now, um, I had to take them off, as you can see, and put the stock intakes back on because I had to get the car smogged. Um, and I figured since these had to come out, they're gonna have to go back in. We'll make a you know quick you know DIY tutorial on how to install these. These are pretty easy to install. They don't really require much. Um, the only thing is you'll have to be drilling some holes inside here and in this fender right here to install the uh, air scoops that come with the kit. But other than that, I mean it's pretty straightforward. Um, and okay, yeah. Cherry kit that um, when you purchase it from Evolve, it comes with everything you need to install it. Um, you only see one of each for the moment, but there is two. So there's two of these, two of these plates. I'm just showcasing one for right now. Comes with all the mounting hardware, um, all the mounting hardware for these uh, scoops. Um, comes with some rubber knobs to uh, put into the car, and we'll showcase how to do that. And it comes with some really nice um, heat shields that you install next to the carbon intake, so it keeps all the heat out. Um, really easy to install, and it's made out of a really nice metal plate with some protective foam so it doesn't scratch the carbon housings. And it comes with a nice filter with a metal adapter to plug into the secondary air pump injection hose that plugs into the passenger side of the intake so you run this instead of just having it just kind of like out in the open hanging without it so um that's pretty much a quick rundown of everything that comes in the kit um this kit was specifically purchased over at fast attack motorsports we'll link it in the description below um otherwise you can i think pick these up almost anywhere um i personally think it's the best mod i've done for my car just because just the sound alone is just like it's insane um it really transforms the car even though this car has a stock exhaust like you can hear this thing from coming down the road just because of these so Any um, performance? um i haven't dynoed the car yet with these intakes uh, i think evolve claims a 15 to 20 horsepower increase um over the stock air boxes um I don't have a tune for these either. I'm just running it as is with the stock ECU and all that stuff. Pretty sure you probably get another couple of horsepower with their tune or something. But you know, it's a it's a bolt-on part. Um, the only thing is there is a bit of drilling required to install those plates. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's a, seems like a pretty simple install. So I mean, it's time to get to it. So let's do it. So I've already taken apart the driver's side already. I'll showcase it on the passenger side. Everything that I do here is exactly the same on the on the driver's side. So we don't have to do things twice, but we'll showcase everything at the end. But um, obviously the stock air box has to come out and it's really simple to do. Um, you just have to unplug the MAF connector right here. Clips as always, just push them and pull it back and it comes right out. And then there's these uh, silver tabs on the air box themselves, if Jay can look. Um, they're right there. Usually you can get them out with uh, fingers, but in this case I can't because I'm really weak. Just grab a flathead screwdriver, twisty motion, bam. Though a uh, bit of warning, just be a little careful when you're taking these out. Um, mine are pretty loose and I've had them fall in the engine bay and it's not fun trying to fish them out. Um, cue episode one. Um, yeah, so just be a little careful. Once you got that all kind of nice and loose just go ahead and uh grab a flathead and undo this uh hose clamp once you do that kind of got to kind of pull and then comes right out and you just set it off to the side for right now um this part this lower part of the air box just slips right out once you remove two bolts which i believe there's a 10 mil back here um, which isn't there because I've already taken these out. And then there's a T30 Torx bit 
right here that holds the front like snorkel on. Once you get those out of the way, there's another 10 millimeter over here. Come pull that out, and then this kind of just lifts right up. Just like that. I mean, it's pretty easy. Always keep your stocks, uh, intake parts, or anything you ever remove off your motor. Um, especially if you live in an, a state like California, like we do, um, where you have biannual smog. Uh, you'll always have to put these back together or, you know, to do the smog or emissions or inspections, whatever it is in your country or locale. But uh, don't throw them away uh, because it's a real pain in the ass to look for these. It's always good to have a spare. Yeah, it's good to have a spare and it's, you know, like I said, if you ever get popped by the police or something, inspection, uh, anything, it's always nice to have. You take it. Yeah, don't throw it away. Um, once you've done that, Everything should look like this, basically an empty engine bay. So, so once you've gotten everything out, everything should look like this. Um, if it's a little dirty in here, I recommend getting a little cloth and kind of wiping up. Um, get any kind of debris, leaves, anything, all that stuff out of here. Um, you'll have a scoop down here which you can see right here and then you have this snorkel right here um if it pops out it slips into another snorkel it's really hard to see but you'll be able to slip it back on and it should sit like that and it directs cold air from the front of the car to directly to where the carbon air boxes will be so once that's done um you can go ahead and install a couple of things which we'll show you right now so here's the uh passenger side heat shield um, they can only go one way so their or their orientation is for the driver and passenger side this is one's for the passenger side and the way these bolt on is there is a, a one there's one stud on the chassis itself that goes right here and then this one goes to where that t30 bolt was that you removed earlier it goes right behind it so to install it usually I take this out kind of do that Kind of, kind of a puzzle. And then, let me get that in there, and then get that front snorkel in to its home. And that's pretty much it. And then once you have that, there's this black uh, rubber like grommet. It goes onto that stud on the chassis right there. So you just kind of push it down. Kind of just rest right there you don't really have to twist it you just gotta push it down and then you just gotta install that t30 bolt right there so once you got the heat shield on it's pretty simple self-explanatory you have uh the this like external filter that clips onto here um, since the Evolve, even Shuri intakes don't have a spot to plug this into the carbon housing, they opt to use this instead. Um, when you get this, these are going to be separated, but this is how it looks. The filter just slides onto this uh, metal housing and they provide this uh, metal clamp uh, for you to use. And once you have it assembled, it's essentially just going here and just clicking it in easy as that. They also provide this uh, kind of a holding tool for the hose so that it's just not kind of just flopping around. So it's really easy to install. You just got to get it over it. And where that ends up mounting is this uh, eight millimeter bolt for the uh, power steering hose reservoir. So um, you just got to do that and bolts right up. Let me get that. So once you got the heat shield on, the filter for the air pump hose on, uh, the next thing you'll need to do is remove the stock intake boot and the uh, mass airflow sensor out of the original housings. Um, these ones I believe were a T15 uh, screw, but they might be a little different. Um, just gotta unscrew them and they come right out. Do be careful, the MAF sensors do have an O-ring on them. So make sure you pull them out straight without damaging this green O-ring, otherwise you'll have to get them replaced. So um, just keep that in mind. 
They don't provide you any other uh, o rings? Uh, no. Uh, Evolve does not give you any replacement o rings for the map, so. Um, just make sure they're not damaged or don't and try not to damage your own um, I'm pretty sure you can get these uh, These o-rings replaced, but again, you know, just try not to damage them Just pull them straight out and just be a little patient with them. They'll come out And then these are just uh, hose clamps, so just flathead screwdriver And then just kind of pull right off depending on how old your car and whether or not these have been off before can be kind of tricky so just kind of work them out so quick 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 uh, just I'm gonna deviate from the install but I'm gonna show you guys how much detail these guys put into the kit and no I'm not getting paid to say this but I think it's something that must be uh, I think it's noteworthy on how much detail these guys really put into this stuff but obviously they didn't have to do this but it's the little things that always count in my eyes. But if you can see, even on these clamps, the logo is on there. So if the guys from Evolve are watching this video, like hats off to you guys. That like that is something that I would have never have seen, or I don't think a lot of people even really know that is there. But you know, the the little details and places that most people never will see is I think something that always needs to be mentioned so yeah. um shout out to you guys out over at evolve big 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 kudos anyways time to put this back together so when you get the kit you'll have this very tiny boot, uh, boot that slips over the outlet of this uh inlet carbon intake i'm losing my words at the moment and then there's the uh the math adapter that the, the original MAF sensor will go into and where the uh, original hose that goes to the intake goes onto. Um, you can't really mix these up. There is a special way to put these on. This recess goes into the stock uh, intake boot that goes to the intake manifold. And then the bigger one is what goes onto the uh, one that uh, Evolve supplies for the kit. So it just essentially goes like that. Um, there is a certain orientation that you have to rotate this MAF housing so that the MAF sensor isn't pointing straight up or anywhere uh, awkwardly. We'll show you how to do that. Um, but for now, just uh, with the clamps on, just keep them loose until this is in the car and you can rotate it and put it to your preference and make them all nice and tidy and then you can tighten it up then. But for right now, we're just gonna get everything on and then we'll get these housings into the car and get them all finished up. So this is how the housing looks when it's inside the car. Um, that bracket that we showed a little bit earlier, it goes into a stud right here. Um, it's like a little like rubber stud. You thread on the 10 millimeter bolt on there and that holds the entire housing in place. Um, the actual angles of the boot is gonna be essentially this. It's gonna be kind of a downward curve. Um, you wanna make sure that the map sensor is kind of tilted more towards the front of the car you don't want it like that you know straight up you want it kind of more like this so it's kind of out of the way of the hood when you shut it and that the plug can go on you want to get it as close to the motor as possible honestly so you can uh, kind of just not accidentally damage from the hood um, but usually I kind of have it just at a little angle like that so and then once everything is kind of nice and set and the boots are all in just make sure to get the Get all the clamps orientated nicely um always do it the same way uh, don't have it a clamp like you know all crazy to make it make it really nice looking um but again like this is the final product this is how it should look at the end of the day once you have it installed um,
So, I mean, the only thing left is just to start it and go for a ride and see how these things sound. Um, honestly, this won't be a first impression for me because like I said earlier in the video, I had these installed six months ago. We just never filmed it. Um, but there's really no video on YouTube that really showcases the noise that these intakes make and how livable it is on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, driving around normally, like you really don't hear them. It sounds like a stock M5 and this car has a full stock exhaust system. So from the header back, it's completely stock. So it's very quiet and it's very easy to live. I live with on a day-to-day -day basis. It's only when you actually start getting it into around the 3000 RPM mark and you're giving it some throttle, you actually hear them. So I'll shut up now and let the car do the talking and just do that thing. This one's with the windows up, um, kind of more of a representation of the sound. So that's pretty much how these intakes sound and I mean, I don't know, but you gotta be in the car to listen to these things. They, they just sound so damn good. And I think they're worth every penny despite their four figure price tag. They're worth every penny just for the sound alone. It transforms this car so much, especially if you have a car like how mine was where it was completely stock. So if you want a bit of sound, but you don't really want to do an exhaust or anything like that, those intakes are like the way to go hands down in my opinion but um yeah that pretty much wraps up this uh install video hopefully you guys enjoyed that one um it's a pretty easy install in my opinion i think anybody with basic cancels can do it just how you just saw on the video um a couple of videos that we're going to be doing is one we're going to be doing a smg to six speed conversion video i filmed that um be kind of more of a time lapse um, we'll be doing some stuff with Jay's uh, E46 M3, and we'll also be doing a two-year two-year ownership video on on this car. So, um, so <laughs> yeah, dude. So stay tuned for those videos. They'll be coming uh, very soon. Um, but likewise, you know, as always, rate, comment, like, subscribe on the on the channel. We appreciate all the love that you guys have been giving us lately, and. Um, We'll be putting out some more videos on this one so yeah thank you for a hundred subscribers yeah we'll, we'll be doing a we'll be doing something for you guys very soon so just stay tuned but you know for right now let's just give it a quick rip